What's up? It's Ace at Flash. Um, I'll be doing things a little bit different in in in, in the next few videos, uh, specifically the next six videos. Um, instead of, I, I'm I'm not gonna um, hide it. I was reading from a script. Big surprise. Uh, in the next few videos, I'll be showing off my CD collection and perhaps giving a little bit of insight on uh, each CD or I'll just show you the CD and go on to the next one depending on how important I think it is so without further ado here is my CD collection part one of six and I have a quite a bit of CD so this might take a while first CD ACDC for those about to rock now growing up my dad had a uh, back in black on you know it was, yeah, it was just a regular CD. It was probably like enhanced CD that had like special features on there or whatever. Um, I'm not saying that I was a huge fan of ACDC, but I like some of their stuff. Uh, this this album comes like right after Back in Black. Their second album with a new singer. I forgot his name. I think it's a Bon Scott or Brian Johnson. I kind of forgot uh, the, the 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 ACDC singer, but. It's actually pretty good uh, songs on here. Um, the funny thing is with ACDC, typically most of the songs are kind of the same. But then again, that could be said with most artists. I mean, if you want to be general about it, most artists kind of do sound the same. Their signature sound, as it were. Um, yeah, I would say that their, their, their earlier stuff is a lot better than their newer stuff. The newer stuff seems kind of like, like they're just old guys, just kind of capture the image of being young anyway next CD is the Asasa Strain Wormwood now I bought this album uh, kind of you know when, when I first got uh, financial aid uh, my d younger dumb self thought financial aid money was spending money and kind of like I miss probably misused that but at the same time I had good memories with, with with that money, so I bought this along with um, another album. I, I don't remember what I bought it with, but I bought it at. Here's the thing, back then, uh, malls used to have CD stores, so like I would used to go to the mall and buy CDs. Now, I hardly ever buy CDs, probably because there's not that many places that sell CDs unless it's online. But uh, yeah. It was just Sam Goody's. I think it was Sam Goody's. Either that or it was Hot Topic. But uh, this is my first album that I that I bought of the Asa Strain. I, I listened to this stuff earlier. You know, like uh, LimeWire, YouTube, or whatever. But I think the album, the song that, that, that really catches my attention is The Beast. Especially how it starts. Uh, the Hills Have Eyes. The Impaler. Uh, a lot of good uh, tracks on here. Next CD is... I. Uh, I, I I bought this a uh, few months ago on uh, cause like Rise Records had like a uh, kind of sale with all their CDs of five dollars, so that's really good. Unfortunately, I didn't have a lot of that much money, but I still took advantage of the of the of the deal near the end of the month, so I got still got it. Anyway, the next album is uh, the Asasa Strain uh, Gray Gray Bloom, which is kind of like not necessarily a follow up per se, but it's but it's um. It's, a, it's their latest album uh, that came out in 2017. Uh, different lineup. I mean, the only two original, technically original members are the drummer and the vocalist. But this band, this band is more, I would say, more punishing than 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 you know, than they've ever been. Perhaps even more so. Um, I like, I especially like the first album, of Worthless. I mean, the first album, the first song. Uh, but this whole record is just fucking. You know, typical Sex and Strain, just really doomy and really heavy. Uh, the next uh, CD is AFI December Underground, and I do sometimes I do uh, this thing where it's kind of like I take out the 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 the, the, the main cover and kind of switch it around and make it more interesting. I feel like uh, the artist intended it that way. Here's the actual cover, just in case you're curious. Um, it's funny though because. A lot of uh, 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 um, AFI purists are, are like, uh, this is not their, their best album, their best album, or their, their earlier album, whatever. But me personally, I mean, this is the album that kind of got me into the band. Um, I love this album. It's great. You know, it's it's like, like maybe the softer 
version of themselves, but who cares? It's still pretty good. People hate on a, a, a softer versions of, you know, Bring Me the Horizon, but I don't see the, I don't understand why, why I get the hate that it does, but whatever. Um, the next album is, well, it's more of like a sampler, but it's uh, Alternative Press. Oh, I got it in a magazine. It's a limited edition mini mag. It has stuff from Flog and Molly, If It's For Nop Topsy, The Gay Blade, uh, Betrayal, Otep, etc., etc. Just, just, uh, you know, just skimming here. Uh, it's a lot of different um, stuff on here. Kind of like a, just a general sampler. Next album is is from a local band. Uh, honestly, like I don't really. Maybe I should listen to it more, but it's a local band that 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 has broken up. Ashes of Alaska. Um, I mean, I think uh, you could you could still look them up on YouTube or whatever. Um, you know, they're a pretty good metalcore band. Um, not sure why they broke up, but uh, the the guitar is, is like. Uh, uh, play plays for uh, the sixteenth, which is kind of like a maybe a technically a super group consisting of other musicians from the local area. Uh, if you want to check it out on YouTube or Spotify, go ahead and check it out. Pretty good. I suppose technically not like local because they come from Hollywood, but um, I guess this is like an indie uh, 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 punk thing. Uh, Simple the skyline. I got I actually got this from uh from NSN and uh, NSN ended horribly, but the the actual event was actually pretty cool. And I have like a thing about um, buying CDs uh, that are you know like that that are, that don't have like a big uh, uh, signed to a big record label or whatever. Just kind of like supporting it. If like I have a thing like support artists in general, even if you don't really like it. You know, at least uh, they have, like, if you don't like it, you could show it to someone else and you could show it to someone else and have, like, some kind of following. Or, you know, they, they could feel like they, uh, they're they accomplishing something. Uh, and here is, is, uh, has a song featuring Ryan Key, who is the singer of Yellow Card. Next album is uh, Audio Slayer, the self-titled album. I'm thinking, like, this, the, the when I show you the album, it's kind of, like, written in reverse. Eh, whatever. Anyway, uh, the audio slave uh, self-titled album. I actually think this is my uh, second second CD that I bought. Bought it, same thing again. Like uh, where back when the mall used to sell uh, music, now, I mean, they just sell clothes and shit. But um, that was back when uh, Sam Goodies used to be a thing and used to be around. Man, Sam Goodies was the shit. But now it's like. Uh, Rest in peace, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, it has a uh, uh, has Chris Cornell on here. Rest in peace, of course. Um, this album is actually pretty solid. It actually uh, like kind of reminds me of a bit of grunge, a little bit, but kind of like stepping away to to be its own thing. Actually, it's interesting that it's like uh, the 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 members of, of Rage Against the Machines and the singer from from a uh, 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 audio. I mean, Soundgarden, you know. Kind of to form this uh, kind of technically super group. Next album is, as I mentioned earlier, about Bring Me the Horizon, but this is their second album, uh, Suicide uh, Season. Now this album is like, this is my favorite album of uh, Bring Me the Horizon next to uh, Ammo. And <laughs> I mean, if you're like a like a Bring Me the Horizon fan, you'd be like, oh, they're just a deathcore and all the heavy shit. But dude, I mean, at the same time, I feel like it's more of like a like a, a music fan, you know what I'm saying? Like instead of just just uh, heavy heavy uh, shit, just kind of appreciate the musicality of it. You know, not everything has to be so brutal and whatever. Everything could, could be musical. Uh, the next album is Big Sean Dark Guy Paradise. Now this, you know, like when I was looking through my CD collection uh, a, a few weeks ago, or whatever, I actually forgot I had this. In fact. I must have forgotten so much on how, uh, like, uh, that I have this that 
look how and it's still perfect a pretty good condition it doesn't look like it's been you know used that much i'm not saying this is a bad album it's a pretty good solid album i just kind of forgot it. i had it in my collection uh though the funny thing is uh when it came out with a new album a few years ago this uh the, the follow-up to this album i guess i kind of forgot about it or never did pick it up but yeah i would say this album is, is pretty solid it's pretty has a lot of good track on here some reason there's an Ariana Grande track on here. Um, next album is uh, uh the C Style Late Bloomer too, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, he's a local artist. Um, yeah, he's a local artist, dude, but he has the name of C Styles, which he originally came from Chicago and uh, he lives here. I mean, technically, wouldn't it be like you know, uh, uh um. I forgot the, the city that he lives in, but just saying, I mean, you're ripping Chicago, that's where you're born, you know what I'm saying, I guess, yeah, oh shit, this is 11 minutes already, anyway, um, next album is, uh, Chelsea Grin, My Damnation, yeah, My Damnation, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people tend to kind of dislike, uh, uh, Alex Kohler's, uh, uh, singing, but I don't mind it, I, I mean, it sounds like, 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 Sounds pretty cool, dude. Um, there's a lot of good tracks on here. In fact, funny thing is about this. Um, when I was in Corpus one time uh, with my dad at the bar, uh, I was playing, I think it was Caron, uh, K-H-A-R-O-N, uh, uh, on the on the jukebox, right? Like, thinking it would get heavy. As soon as it hit the heavy part, that was the end. Because it was like an instrumental track, and I thought it would lead into My Damnation, but nope. After the, at the end of that song, it, it led into like some pop song that was like, ugh, disgusting. Not saying that I hate pop music, but it just, it's very bland and very formulaic. Anyway, the next album is Chelsea Grin, uh, Internal Domination. Now, before I listened to this album, I was, like I said, I, I like uh, Alex Kohler's style of singing. I like the whole vibe of that band, but this new version of, of Chelsea Grin is... Jeez, dude. It's like, if you listen to uh, Lorna Shore, basically, I'm not saying it's a copy of that, but it's more like, just damn brutal, just damn, like, uh, intense, uh, mo much more intense than, than, um, uh, than Chelsea Grin, and those, I was thinking of, like, uh, the lyrics-wise, uh, um, it's not necessarily, like, being angry at women or whatever, it's more like this album is, is, is is about mental health, it's about like the demons that you face in, inside your mind. So I feel like generally with deathcore albums, uh, it, it gravitated towards away from writing angry misogynistic lyrics to more like, um, you know, dealing with, with, with everyday shit. And maybe that might be a video that, that I'll probably do in the future, like, uh, like how uh, deathcore evolved from like a diva or separate itself, whatever from like these angry ass lyrics to, to, to kind of more, I mean, it's still technically angry, but it's not directly, uh, 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 uh um, directed towards women, I guess you could say. Anyway, next, next album is, I mean, most of this, this, uh, this video has been a lot of metal. So it's kind of, uh, the next album might be a little bit of a depart departure is Childish Gambino's Camp. Now, I uh, got this for Christmas a few years ago. Um, it's, dude, it's a really good album. Like, I, I love Childish Gambino. He's an amazing artist. Uh, how he can just do rap and do... I mean, he's like the Renaissance man, as it were. Just a comedian. Uh, 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 he's a writer. All that other shit. This... Yeah, I mean, um, it's funny because... Uh, I, I feel like this is the most emo release quote-unquote emo release uh, on, on, in the discography is a lot of uh, like sentimental uh, songs that are close to him or, or, or re have strong uh, 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 relation you know but um, yeah there, and it has like a very uh, camp feel camp aesthetic to it uh, the next album is um, Childish Gambino's uh, what was the name of this album Awaken My Love dude this this record is so fucking good, so fucking good, it's like, you know, uh, just, uh, arm, like, a lot of R&B, a lot of psychedelic, a lot of, like, rock, a lot of, it, it just very has a lot of, uh, 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 um, 70s aesthetics and a 70s vibe, it just, 
really fucking good. And uh, it's funny because I n normally don't say oh shit when I hear a song that I like in a, in a movie. But when I heard um, one of these songs, I forgot which one it was, in the opening scene of Get Out, I'm like, oh shit. The next uh, album is uh, Return to the Metal Form. And this is probably the most extreme in this video. It's uh, Children of Boram Blood Drunk. And damn man, it's like uh, the Children of Boram. If you haven't heard of them, uh, they're they're a, a um, band from I think Sweden. That like uh, very melodic, but at the same time very heavy as hell. Uh, not only is it heavy, but it just it's just fast, dude. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like necessarily brutal per se, but.